Hello, welcome to this demo of the new Simix agent functionality in Wind River Simix. Uh, we'll start by starting a target machine so we have something to play with. The target machine is a simple quad core Linux system, which we will now start by booting from scratch, which is actually pretty fast. And now that the target system is up, let's start the uh, Simix agent on the target. So this is a pure user level program running on the target system. There is no device driver needed, no kernel level, anything. And this should be enough to actually control and interact with the system from the Simex command line itself. So once the agent up is running, we start the Simex side part of it, which is the agent manager. And once the agent manager is working, we can list agents. It has found, as you can see, it says connected. So we know that the target agent is now talking to the um, Simex side agent. And once we're connected, we can then create a particular connection to the target system to actually do things with it. For example, we can have a look at what the agent thinks is its current working directory and what is inside that directory. And if we look at the target system and we list the root directory, we see the same set of directories. Another thing we can do with the Simix agent is to do actions on the target system from the Simex command line. So let's start by actually doing something on the target itself. And I'm going to use the fact that we have a bunch of LEDs here in the system panel. It's a very simple way to demonstrate what you can do in the target. So let's turn on LED 11. Well, that turns on LED 11. We can turn on LED 12, for example. We can turn on LED 13. And let's see if we can do the same thing using the Simex agent system. So for that purpose, we bring up our agent connection to the target, and then we're going to give it a command to run. So we simply copy the command we just did on the target system. And this will be pretty pointless, right? If we try to turn it on, something will have turned on. So let's change it to zero. And as you can see, the LED turned off and the target system performed the action. It's worth noting that we do not have any output on the target system. This is done by the agent inside of itself. So there's no need to actually script the target serial console or to worry about output in some way affecting what's on it. So this is all done by the agent in the background. Another thing the Simex agent can do is to upload files to the target system. So let's upload an executable program and we want to upload this particular program. To do that, we first need to copy the path to the program. Give that to Simex, and then obviously we need to tell Simex that this is the program we want to upload, and we're gonna put it in the MNT directory on the target, since that's where we're supposed to put target software. Okay, done, it's copied. So let's check, do we have it on the target system? Yes, we do. Good. And if we run it on the target system, what happens? Well, it prints a banner on the target system serial console. And we can do the same thing from within the Simex command line. And we're going to run the program. And then we're going to tell we run this from Simex instead. And guess what? In this case, the target serial output is actually redirected to the Simex console rather than appearing on the target system, which once again means we can do things on the target system and capture the output without having to work with the serial console of the target system. Actually, I mean, the target system doesn't even need a serial console at all. Well, that was the end of this short demo of the Simex target agent. As you saw, it lets you automate a target system without needing to script its serial console and without having to do any kind of kernel level or driver level software installation on the target system. Thank you.